Morning, y'all. Lee from LA 3D Printer Repair here. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest some parts here. Oh, parts. So I printed up some um, Mark 3S extruder parts, including the MMU variant parts. Uh, I made another video about the extruder build to kind of go over how that how that all works, but um, I thought I'd just kind of make like a little. Uh, thing about the MMU parts to explain how they work. Um, so let me just put this together real quick and then I'll talk about what's what and what the differences are. So yeah, this is your carriage back that goes on your back and um, actually those should have gone through there. So let me just, this is just totally mock-up style just to kind of show you what's going on here. Da -da -da -da. Come on. There we go. There we go. Just going to hold in. So, idler door goes on there. Normally, our little filament sensor flag thing would go in there. Oop. In there with our magnets. So, I'm just going to leave that out for now since we're just kind of mocking up. Motor plate goes on top right there. And then uh, our cover goes on top of that. Normally, our motor would engage here. Just jam these in so we have something something to talk about. Okay, so um, this as it sits is basically the standard Mark III S idler. Um, you've got the idler door here, which under spring tension uh, maintains the second half of the Bontech gear uh, in constant contact with the center gear, and then your filament sensor goes here, uh, triggered by the flag. You can kind of see my other video for how that works. Uh, this guy goes in here, ball goes in there. Um, uh, here, let me just fix that in there so you kind of get a better idea. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's standard, that's standard. And then you've got your little hat there for the top. And then that kind of completes the MMU build, or I'm sorry, the uh, Mark III S extruder build just kind of as a mock-up. Now, if you looked in the repository, you may have noticed like there's these other parts here. What the heck are those? Well, um, yeah, so here's what's going on. Um, at least, you know, I mean, I have a pretty um, educated guess as to what's going on here. But um, from what I can tell, with the MMU, they don't have you put the filament sensor uh, in the same place. They actually, and the reason why I'm saying that is because the MMU variant doesn't have um, a place for the ball. So that would mean no flag, no ball. So, you know, what? how does that work? Well, um, this is the standard hat, and then this is your MMU hat. And a um, couple of things on that. The idler door has this cool extension on it. So if we put that into place, we'll see that that kind of rides proud. Okay, so then we've got the hat. Uh, and did I put in the correct? No. I, oh, yes, I did. Okay, so, you know, the, the, the other piece has no place for a ball. It's just got a, a line straight through. So I've put that in place. We've got the idler door with this little flag, and then we've got the little top hat. Okay. You notice we've got our idler door with this little flag that kind of swings in and out. And then this part, which has a really delicate wall. I have a feeling that they're going to be um, adjusting this part uh, very quickly. But uh, anyway, that, um, that fits over the top of the house. Sort of a house for the, for the little filament sensor uh, uh, flag there. Okay, And then there's a matching place where the flag goes here in the top of the house to trigger an interrupter in the top. I don't know if you can really see what's going on up there. When the door moves, it uh, moves the flag, and then the filament sensor would go on there. And then there's a little little itty bitty hat that goes on top of there. So what, what does this mean? Well, what it means and what I predict is that they're going to be making an auto calibrate for the MMU. Um, because one of the issues before was, you know, um, unless it's perfectly calibrated, you get a little bit of grinding on the back end while it's sort of caught by the actual Bontech drive gears. So, you know, by being able to detect via the door deflecting when the filament enters, they're going to know interactively 
the machine will know when the filament goes loaded from the MMU hitting the drive gears. So, um, yeah, I, uh, that, that's what these parts are for, and um, that's what I think they're going to do with the MMU with some updated firmware is have like an auto calibration routine. But, um, you yeah, know, that kind of remains to be seen. That's, that's basically speculation on my point, although, you know, I can, I can see how these things go together and I can basically tell what they're going for. The question is, are they just going to add that, uh, that little firmware piece that's going to add the auto-tune? So, anyway, cool. Uh, good times. Hope you all enjoy my videos. Thanks.